Guys, and I'm back. And guess who I'm with? I'm with Sergio again. Hello, guys. He's very, very kindly agreed to take me to my first Mexican city, Mercado. Yes. Oh, this is what I need. I the uh, attraction is. Attraction. Let's try and get this. Let's try and get this pronunciation down. Sananke. Sanangel. 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 The D in Spanish. Sanangel. The D in Spanish, when it's right next to an E or an I, it's, it's pronounced like an H in English. Like Sanangel. Kill. Kill. Yeah, yeah. Kill. You, you almost got it. Kill. <laughs> yeah. Good <laughs> That's good enough. Sanangel. You, you got a B minus. <laughs> Considering the only word, the only other word I knew before that was gracias and calvo. Is it Calvo? Calvo, yeah. Oh, Calvo. Calvo. With a V. Calvo. With yeah, a v. Right. Oh, Calvo. See, I didn't even know that word. Again, over here, you have a lot of uh, crafts, craft shops. And these are really expensive crafts, like handcraft, Mexican traditional handcrafts. Okay, good. And I've already forget, forgotten the name of the Mercado we're going to. That's how good my Spanish is, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is stunning, this place here. And here, here, here you see, like, politicians and artists driving around so it starts now this is the best place in the city for me wow and the the stone on the on the ground I, I think it's like it's mostly original from the colonial times I think okay I'm not really sure people live down the street this is a residential right. yeah, street. yeah it's a residential street isn't this the most incredible street you've ever seen <laughs> I want to live down here <laughs> yeah, this is lovely and it's a very uh hidden place in the city archangel wow. square square archangel of, square, square. square square of the archangels yeah ivy and yeah stuff. it's beautiful and green it's absolutely beautiful guys i am falling in love with mexico city this exact spot and what's wow what is this is this someone's house someone's house wow wow, wow. hello hello casa maca y ma i don't know what if I, if I could live here, in this exact square, I would live here, move here today. And in fact, Sergio's promised to rent me one of his uh, condominiums here in this square. And <laughs> you don't have an odd man. Oh, wow, wow. I love this as well. I know it's not kind of like the traditional style, but... Still, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now, let's head down to the, the market. Oh! oh. What? Look at this. Look at this house. Interestingly in English as well. I love it. Tintins. Oh. Wow. Yeah, it's different, that's huh? beautiful. In fact, this whole building. Wow. Yeah, so Mexico, Mexico City is a mixture of different styles of architecture all over the place. So in a colonial place, you can also see a super modern thing. Yes, right? it smells. It's amazing. <laughs> Back to my childhood. Goodness me, the smell of sugar. Mexico is going to do bad things for my waistline. <laughs> Terrible things for my waistline. So welcome to Mexico. <laughs> You can find a lot of these markets in all over the city. Let's go inside. I'm super excited, guys, because guess what? I am in my first, my first Mexican Mercado. I've got a few things on my shopping list. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them here. But you know what? I'm going to go in and check out anyway. I've never in my life seen Chicharron this big. Bigger than this. Bigger than that? Yeah. It'd be a whole pig. <laughs> All right, well, here I am in the Mercado and I'm being pointed in this direction. This aisle looks good. Yeah. Co that's a COVID pinata. Yes. Hopefully, <laughs> there's no virus inside. <laughs> oh, that's the tumors. That's from the, the cactus. cactus. Yeah. yeah. Do you, do you know that Mexico is number one uh, producer of, of uh, silver? Of silver? In the world, yeah. No, I did not know that. A lot of our handcrafts have silver. Usually cheap for you guys. 
Uh, okay. Because, I mean, for, for the, the exchange rate. See me in the Mercado. How much is this? How much is this? This is This is super traditional in Mexico. It's called papel picado or cut paper. Mame is a very typical Mexican fruit. We don't know this, mame. It's Aquí son diez, mame. serían 80 pesos en esto. Yeah. What do you use this for? Oh, it's decoration. It's just decoration. Uh, yeah. And, uh, mm, mm, that's it. It's this this kind of fruit. Oh, this is the mame. Oh my god, this looks really good. This, this actually looks like a real mame. Gracias. Gracias. All right, guys, well, it's food time, Mercado style here in Mexico City. Now, I've only had tacos and a uh, ham and cheese ciabatta in Starbucks since being here. So I am desperate, <laughs> desperate for some, for some food. So here you can get uh, tacos, I think. Uh, okay, come here. Everything but tacos. Tortillas are like sandwiches, like Mexican style sandwiches, okay. which are really good as well. Much of the much, much of this stuff are basically the same thing, the, just in a Presented different in a different, in a different percentage of the corn. And I see. Thick, thicker or thinner tortillas. Uh, everything's good. I, I I myself I'm going to ask for some uh, quesadillas. Wow, there's my chorizo. All right, here we go. I'm excited. I'm absolutely starving. Don't think I've eaten today, really. Here we go. All right, guys, listen, I need to talk to you for a second. This chorizo and Oaxaca cheese taco is unreal. Oh, I, can't, I just can't explain it. It's, it's so delicious. I want to take this back to the UK. It's extraordinary. Not only the best tacos ever, but I'm picking up subs. I'm picking up subs in the Mercado. And guys, these are so good. Guess what? Chorizo. I was going to say taco, but I've been corrected. I've been corrected. It's uh, quesadillas. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> sure. Something <All> like right. that. <laughs> it, it's, it's a chocolate-based uh, kind of uh, thick sauce. Wow. That you pour on, 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 on chicken or a lot of, kind of uh, meat. Peanut butter. Oh my goodness, I bet that's delicious. Like es esoteric. Esoteric? Is yes, that a word? It is, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, candles. Oh, this is what I need. I the uh, attraction is. Sexual attraction. <laughs> okay. Rompimientos, this is breakups. Breakups. <laughs> breakups. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. This is what I need. I need to curse a few people. Uh. Maybe I should phone them up and get some curses. Nothing about getting more subscribers though. <laughs> oh god, yeah. That's what I need. I need a spell for more subs. <laughs> it's like very, very densely packed raw sugar. And it's a, it's a mis conic, conical shape. It's called a piloncillo. People are eating with pig nose on the thing. Yeah. Is that? Would you eat with a pig nose there? <laughs> be honest, Sergio. Be honest. We know you no. like a pig's uh, no, that's a pig snout. <laughs> the mucus. Oh my god. Oh that's god. god. <laughs> there is the cactus. This is my first Mexican cactus, guys. There it is, and it's a mighty one. Fun to see it. Someone, someone from somewhere else. How are they impressed? How, how they get in, How they get impressed with that single? Like the smallest thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna take. We're gonna get some Mexican ice cream, and I've been convinced that Mame ice cream is the best one to go for. So that's what we're gonna try. Raspberry. raspberry. Okay. So we have raspberry. We have. Raspberry cheese. Maracuya. Ma which is, maracuya? It, it's a very, uh, this is like avocado. A, no, no, no. It's a, it's a very um, exotic fruit from Brazil. Coco, coconut, we know this one. Coconut, yeah. Vanilla, we know this one. Yeah. Higo is fig, we know this one. Uh, Beso de ing angel. Angel, angel. kiss. Angel, angel kiss. kiss. Now, guys, I don't know about you. I'm drawn towards the angel okay. kiss. Kiss. So the angel kiss. Everyone wants to be kissed by an angel. So <laughs> maybe we should do the angel kiss. Angel kiss has uh, raisins. Okay, not Welcome. the angel kiss. <laughs> Never had cheese ice cream. And 
never had mame ice cream. Thank you. And that's the first time I've seen a black squirrel. Mexico City! We love it here. We love the weather. It's just literally turned like this. I like this. I like this. This is good. I like. <laughs> Can you imagine traveling 5,000 miles to leave the English climate to come to the Mexican climate. Look at this, look. Oh, at least it's a little bit warmer. Just a little, little bit. Oh, look at this, look at this. Ooh. Really great to travel around with people that live here. You get such a different perspective on things. Can you imagine if this is how good it is at the beginning? How is it going to be at the end when I can speak fluent Spanish? <laughs> there you have it. Sergio, Sergio right here has been an absolute star today and taken me to my first Mexican Mercado. The scenery and the architecture around this area, which has been absolutely stunning. I've really enjoyed myself. I really hope you guys have as well. And once again, just to remind you, Sergio's channel, uh, I'm walking in a massive puddle. Um, <laughs> sorry. Please check out Sergio's channel, which is a normal Mexican guy. Please go take, take a look at his channel because it's amazing. And I just want to thank Sergio once again for his time today. So once again, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next video. <laughs> I've said it twice. Ah. <laughs> That's all right.